Just think about this for a minute. Can you imagine a world where you actually have to watch pre-roll or in-game ads in a video game, integrated into a game? Just you're in the middle of a boss fight or you're hitting a corner in a racing game or you're, you know, you're peeking somebody in an online multiplayer game and then there's an ad in your face. I don't even like watching ads on YouTube, granted. I mean, being on the other side of it now, I appreciate the ads because I get thrown a couple of shekels every time those pop up for you guys. Granted, I know a lot of you guys are running ad blockers out there. I see you. Can't even, don't even blame you, to be honest. But EA, Electronic Arts, of course, <laughs> who else, uh, is talking about putting ads in games. And there's there's so much more I wanna, I, there's so much more I wanna say about that, but we'll, we'll run a little intro video first. Let's get it. All right, Tadamishi, share my screen over here. I have an article pulled up that will be cited or sourced down there in the description below as I do any time I cover any kind of gaming news uh, in, the, in the community or industry because it's important to cite your sources in college. It's important on YouTube as well. You'll get called out lickety split, lick the clit. So EA says it's not planning in-game video ads following a report, but don't let that headline give you a false sense of security to where you wipe the sweat off your brow and give a little sigh and just say, oh, geez, <laughs> we're good. We have nothing to worry about. Uh, maybe not the case, guys. EA recently struck a deal related to in-game at... <laughs> I, I, I just can't even believe that this is a thing. Uh, in-game advertising from a company called Player One. I, I really do think that is a clever name. I appreciate that. Player One. It, it's a double entendre. It's like you're Player One, you know, like one of these retro consoles over here, but you're also, you've won because you're the shit but nobody wiped EA, which is said to bring vid ad tech to consoles and PC games. Nobody is asking for that. EA says that's not true. The company tells PC Gamer magazine that it isn't putting ads in console games and that it hasn't made any deals to do so. We got a little quote here. Following incorrect reports suggest that we're looking to introduce TV style commercials into our games. We'd like to clarify that in-game advertising for console games is not something we're currently looking at. That, the word right there, currently, meaning something that would potentially happen in the future. Creating the best possible player experience remains our prior priority focus. I don't think he knows what company he's working for. EA has been making hot, sticky garbage since the, the Civil War. I mean, they do have the Battlefield games and whatnot, but generally it's just sports titles and sports games are, have been gross since a, a hot while. And also EA, it, it seems like every collaboration they get off whenever there's two developing houses and EA is involved, they just Oh, reach around and take to pound town the project this is just most unfortunate. So this all spurts from an original story. I like that word spurts. <laughs> Be spurting a night. A new advertising platform allows companies to introduce video ads in PC and console games similar to those seen in mobile games or on free to air TV. I don't know too many people that still rock cable television. That's kind of like a landline. You don't need a landline because you have a cell phone. And you don't need cable TV because there's streaming platforms or you can, you know, do like a jailbroken uh, fire stick, which has everything under the sun on, on it. Not that I condone that kind of behavior. I certainly don't. I'd give you a slap on the tookus if I heard that any of you boys were doing that. You know, and a little sidebar here real quick. Story time, guys. Gather around the campfire. Let me make the screen big for you guys. The uh, I don't have any strikes on my channel, but the one warning I have on my channel, which you get a warning prior to getting, you know, three consecutive strikes and then basically you're bounced off the platform. The uh, warning that I have, which I have uh, refuted, re re refuted, disputed, I don't think refuted is a word. I have disputed and it was denied, of course, because they are, uh, I, I don't really think that they have an actual human investigates the claims on a case by case basis. I really don't, especially for a small channel like mine, you know, Granted, I'm very proud of where it's at, but in the grand scheme of things, it's still, it's not thick and veiny yet. It will be, don't get me wrong. Gamer Heaven's spew, spew into the moon, but in the meantime, she's a quarter chubber. I get that. I get, I got a quarter chubber down there. Ooh, somebody's approaching with my DoorDash order. Yes, sir. A little Thai food. But anyway, uh, the one video that I have that received a actual like TOS terms of service warning, like it would have been a strike, but it's the first time I've done anything naughty on my channel, was a tutorial showing you guys how to uh, jailbreak, jailbreak a fire stick, an Amazon fire stick to get like, you know, content and whatnot, which is hilarious because I mentioned this in my dispute. There is, there are entire channels on YouTube that are still live and, and monetized to my knowledge, or at least running limited ads 
And that's all they do is Cody builds and builds on different devices, specifically the Amazon Fire Stick. So I said that in my dispute, hey, Google, uh, there's channels that do this. And I just did one video and, you know, I apologize. I won't do it again. It's not it's out of my niche. I generally stick to gaming news and stuff. And they within like 30 seconds, it, it was my appeal was um, deemed not not uh, approved. And the warning remains on my channel, which means now if I do get like a strike, it's a strike strike. It's not a warning. Story time is over. But yeah, that was just it's just so stupid that I know that it's a machine. It's obviously bots that they run to look for certain keywords and certain content and then apply strikes. But then when you go to actually appeal it because they're in the wrong. Granted, I was kind of in the wrong here, but again, there's entire channels that do these tutorials. I, I guarantee no actual human over there at Google analyzed the actual situation and watched the context of the video and was like, well, he did mention several times that this is for, you know, uh, scientific purposes or, or he's not condoning this. this is just kind of like a, a tutorial if somebody were to do this. But I get it shouldn't be on their platform, but there's a lot of other way worse shit on the platform. Anyway, moving on. Nothing to see here, guys. Move along. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So ads are frustrating to watch in a mobile game. However, most mobile games are free to play or they're incredibly cheap on the iOS or Android store. Brand new AAA titles for consoles are between $60 and $70. A good majority of them, especially PlayStation 5 games, are $70. PC games are generally quite a bit cheaper and Steam and Humble Bundle run sales pretty frequently and whatnot. But even still, if you pay 40 bucks for a game and you have to sit through an ad, when you get through the main menu and you select your difficulty and your visual settings, you jump in game and you're sitting through a freaking ad, that takes you out of the immersion of the game. God forbid it's actually in game, you're in the middle of playing and that pops up, I would lose my shit. I would throw my controller like a boomerang. Probably not because almost all my controllers are like limited edition, limited editions and very either rare or expensive. So I probably wouldn't do that, but I might. Why do they, why do they knock? It's supposed to be a, a, a contact, a contactless delivery. I'm surprised my dog didn't just flip shit, but they're just supposed to drop the care package on the door and text you a picture, a, a nude, if you will, of your food at the door. My dasher delivery person's name was Regina. Either that or it's Gina. You are Gina? Gina. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Looking to get back up on that pogo stick. You know what I'm saying? So if this article hasn't given you acid reflux yet, it's about to make you puke in your mouth and then swallow it back down for the nutrients. It gets so much worse. According to the report, players during the pilot for this feature are much more likely to play a game and spend money in it if they could acquire perks by watching ads. So now we're talking about pay to play as well or pay to win on top of throwing in-game ads. Now it's going to be like you're rewarded for watching ads. So the people like myself and probably you stallions and stallionettes in the stable that don't want to watch an ad and skip it or whatever, don't unlock unlockables in the game like perks and shit. That's stupid. Players could acquire in-game currencies by surrendering surrendering the, to 15 to 30 second ads. Oh my God. And this is in an effort to uh, target younger people, younger players. Tech wants to target younger players between the ages of uh, 18 to 34. By the way, the key demographic for video gamers, the, the majority of people that play video games are between the ages of 25 and 34, I believe it was. And then the second biggest bracket after that is actually 34 to like 40 something. And then after that, you have like teenagers and stuff, which is weird, but not really because games have been around since I have an Atari 2600 here. That's from 1979. But even before that, there's arcades and whatnot. And you had like ColecoVision and other stuff like that. By the way, if you guys are into retro gaming, this channel is about to have a, an entire playlist around retro gaming. Everything retro gaming. It's kind of a new obsession of mine. But it's trying to target these younger players. I don't know if 34 is really young. You're kind of getting up there. I'm turning 32 here in... 11 days. So Simul Media's own research claims that people would be willing to watch up to 10 videos a day for rewards, which sounds crazy, but hey, I'm no marketing researcher. So watching 10 videos at 30 seconds a pop, so that adds up to five minutes. That's five minutes of your life you'll never get back. Five minutes that you could spend shooting a YouTube video, maybe a YouTube short, or playing video games, or eating or banging your girlfriend, which probably also takes about five minutes. And then also uh, big, and then also big D in the pants, Dave Madden over here says that 90% of the free to play audience never buy in-game items. You shouldn't, especially if the game isn't great, just like Cold War, don't spend your money in the store. 
So this is another way to squeeze cash out of them. The company wants to implement these ads in roughly a dozen games by the end of 21. Probably games I don't play if they are EA titles. Although the new uh, Battlefield does look pretty sick. It's a grim vision of gaming's future. I totally agree with that sentiment, that statement there. A grim vision of gaming's future. If you look at where gaming is at now, that basically everything is all digital, even if you get a physical copy of a game, many physical copies, for example, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, there's only one gigabyte of data on that disc. So if the servers were ever to go down or you keep that console and you decide you want to pick it up and play it, you know, 15, 20 years later for the nostalgia purposes or whatever, um, you know, and you can't link to a server or anything just because you have that disc, don't think that it's going to play. It's not like one of these consoles back here. You just pop a cartridge in and you're good to go. You know, same cartridge you bought when you were 14 years old still works. You don't need to be connected to Internet or anything like that in in game ads. I mean, even a pre-roll ad would be insanely frustrating for a game that you spent between 40 and $70 on. Granted, they're talking about free to play games, but still in between Warzone matches, instead of readying up your kit or uh, adjusting your kill streak perks uh, or picking a new uh, Parker skin, cause she's got a fat rump on her. Would you like to just watch an ad? I don't think I would. And even if you run something like an ad blocker, it's probably just gonna have a big gray or black box where the ad would pop up. So you're not gonna be able to see your your menu so you can change your kit around. Oh boy, what a doozy. We're really sucking on the pickle here, boys. The old pickled cucumber. That is gonna do it, Stallions. If you enjoyed the video, I know it was a grim topic, but if you enjoyed the way I walk, talk, and smell, the cut of my jib, if you will, liking the video does help it to get seen by more people and does help me to grow this channel, which I do insanely appreciate, insanely, truly. Subscribe for more content like this. And you know, like I mentioned, retro gaming, there's about to be more retro gaming content on this channel than, than you guys can possibly digest. I'm still gonna do gaming news and tutorials and honest product reviews and stuff like that, but I'm gonna be doing a uh, intense amount, simply intense amount of retro gaming on this channel. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Get your milk, you know, subscribe. Notification bell, share with your brother's cousin twice removed, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be tomorrow because I upload daily. Peace.